sriracha it tastes good with everything you know noodles put it on stir fries put it on pizza putting on pizza one of my favorite but there's one category of food that it doesn't taste good with that's vegetables sriracha and vegetables it's just uh, i don't know it just doesn't have that appeal instead i'm going to introduce a dip that we love to eat at korean barbecue restaurants it's called samjang and samjang it tastes beautifully with any raw vegetables today i'm going to show you how to make that and we're going to pair it with some delicious vegetables all right guys let's start <laughs> All right, for our dipping sauce, we need a punch and a kick. Half an onion, let's haya it. We wanna get these very fine. All right, they haya back and uh, I got onion juice in my eyes. And next we have a Korean chili pepper. It's called Cheongyang gochu. Cut this up. If we're gonna use jalapeno, I would recommend just using a third. Two tablespoons of tenjang, which is fermented Korean soybean paste. All right, and here's the second. Then two tablespoons of gochujang, Korean red chili pepper paste. Here we go. That's one. And here's the second one. Get that in there. One tablespoon of minced garlic. Add that punch. One tablespoon of mirin. All right, a lot of strong flavors. One tablespoon of honey. Give it some sweetness. Half a teaspoon of sesame oil. Some black pepper. A few cracks. It ain't finished if it doesn't have sesame seeds. Just a few shakes like that. Look at all the crazy flavors mixed in this one bowl. All right, we're going to mix it up. Give it a pinky lick. And guys, this by itself works. Most uh, Korean barbecue restaurants will give it like this. I like to add some freshness. I'm gonna put in the, the onions and then some heat. Mix that in there. And there you have it, some samjang. Let's move this to a dipping bowl now. Hopefully I don't get any on the sides. Come on, Danny. A few dabs of sesame seeds. And guys, there's your homemade samjang right here. Very nice, huh? All we need is some rice and some fresh vegetables. So in Korea with samjang, the first two we love to eat it with is uh, just fresh cucumbers and carrots. A lot healthier than ranch and much more personality than hummus. I like to get a big scoop. In Korea, there's no such thing as double dipping. Community pool, baby. So it has the taste of daengjang in the back, then some spiciness up front. Then you get some of the crunch from the onions and this sort of uplift. And it's just a, a complex flavor, but it's delicious. And from that complexity, you forget the dullness of these raw vegetables. And then the most typical way is to make a lettuce wrap. Um, here's baby napa cabbage, some regular lettuce, and some red, um, I forgot what this is called. All right, and if you've been to Korean barbecue, you know the drill. We'll put some rice on top, get a little scoop of our samjang, wrap that baby up into your mouth. If you're a true Korean, you get some of the Cheongyang chili pepper. You take a bite and you say, mmm. It's not even that spicy, but damn, this is hot. <sighs> All right, that's very spicy. Gotta chase it down with another lettuce wrap. <sighs> and this baby cabbage in Korean, it's called albechu. You know, when we make kimchi, we use um, the traditional Napa cabbage, which is like this big. But I think this vegetable tastes the best with it. It has this nice crunch and uh, keep an eye out for it at the Korean Mart. Albechu. <laughs> And one other way is very popular in Korea, especially among girls who like to diet. That's eating rice with uh, cabbage leaves and samjang. So this is just the normal cabbage that you'll find anywhere in the world. All right, and I just cut one fourth of a cabbage. Normally it should be round like that. We're gonna cut off this stem part, which joins all the leaves together. Then we're gonna just uh, take off a few of the outer leaves. It should come off very easily like that. It's for some of the very big ones, you can just cut it straight. And then we're going to just cover this with water. We'll just let them soak for about one minute. And now that these have soaked, find a microwave friendly bowl. We'll put each hydrated leaf here in. Then we're going to just put about half a cup of water in. Put some cling wrap. All right, and we'll just poke a few holes. Boop, boop, boop. And then just put this in the microwave for seven minutes. All right, time's up. Liquid on the bottom should have turned to steam. By the way, guys, you can also just steam this in a pot and it's been cooked just right. You know, it's not limpy and soggy. It's still got some uh, pushback. Some rice. 
little bit of fresh samjang. Just wrap that baby up. And ah. Uh... Mm. Guys, I'm telling you, the samjang, it just works so well with vegetables. Guys, what do you think? If you've been to a Korean barbecue restaurant before and they give you samjang, do you think it gives ranch a run for its money? Either way, this week, eat more vegetables and get your rabbit on, okay? Get your rabbit on, all right?